What's up, guys? I am nobody special. And yesterday I was watching Jerome Powell's testimony before Congress, where he was describing a lot of these shortages we're seeing in the economy as temporary or transitory, as he likes to say. Now, when you look closely at what's going on in our economy, you start to see that Powell is conveniently overlooking something. Ready? Hit it. Thank you for joining me. My name's Jack Gamble, and I am nobody special. And yesterday, the big headline was Jerome Powell testifying in front of Congress, where he assured us that a lot of these supply chain disruptions we're seeing are going to be temporary. And one of his comments really stuck out at me. Powell said, if you look behind the headline and look at the categories where these prices are really going up, you'll see that it tends to be areas that are directly affected by the reopening. That's something that will go through over a period. It will then be over, and it should not leave much of a mark on the ongoing inflation process. So what Powell is saying is that these supply shortages we're seeing are really just the lingering effects of the pandemic, that it's caused by the reopening, that we'll go through it, and that's going to be it. It's going to be transitory. So what Powell is telling us is that what we're seeing right now is purely cost push inflation. Now, cost push inflation is defined as overall price increases due to increases in the cost of wages and raw materials. Now, cost push inflation is particularly vulnerable to natural disasters. And we could describe the pandemic and the shutdowns and the lockdowns as natural disasters. I don't know how natural it was, but for sake of argument, let's call it a natural disaster. And that makes sense, right? Mines were shut down, foundries were shut down. We saw a lot of disruptions to where things are made from the lockdowns. And when we do get through the reopening, that should wear off. So that makes sense. But that doesn't explain what's going on at U.S. ports right now. What we've got going on at U.S. ports is we're seeing ships waiting for days, sometimes weeks at a time, to offload their cargo because there's just a huge bottleneck coming through. We can't unload these ships fast enough. Now, that is not explainable by cost push inflation. All right. What we've got is Americans have an insatiable appetite for stuff right now. That's not caused by supply disruptions. That's caused by too much money entering the system, by all this quantitative easing, by all of the stimulus, by the expanded unemployment benefits. That can be explained by demand pull inflation. Demand pull inflation is defined as upward pressure on prices that follows a shortage in supply a condition economists describe as too many dollars chasing too few goods. Well, one thing we've seen in the last year was an awful lot of new dollars entering the system. And those new dollars are getting spent. Americans are buying stuff at breakneck pace. Now, I recently saw a tweet from the Happy Hawaiian, one of my favorite financial Twitter accounts, where he was describing this new Reddit group that's popped up called R Shortages. This is a fantastic new subreddit that I highly recommend. Now, in our shortages, you're seeing a lot of anecdotal cases of seemingly random things having shortages. Things like astronomy equipment, medical supplies, like test tubes, pipettes, greases, lubricants. One guy posted that he's having trouble finding lids for canning jars. Now, any one of these things taken in isolation doesn't a trend make. But when you view all these things in aggregate, you're starting to see that there's something far more systemic going on in our economy. Now, our economy is a closed ecosystem. All right. And like you see in any closed ecosystem, when you throw one thing out of whack, it causes oscillations and ripple effects all over that ecosystem until the ecosystem finds its new balance. Now, when you dump all of these dollars into the economy, those dollars start chasing stuff. And we have less stuff being made, not more, and that's causing these shortages. So what Powell is saying is these shortages are because of the lockdown, not because of all the money we've dumped in the system. And I'm not so sure that's the case. It's probably a combination of both. Now, one of those two causes is temporary right? The reopening is going to happen and it'll be over. But the lingering effects of this quantitative easing 
and the ongoing effects of quantitative easing, because they're still printing $120 billion a month, that's not going anywhere. That could even get worse, because the government sure as heck isn't going to cut spending anytime soon. So I expect the effect of the quantitative easing, of the demand pull inflation, to only get worse, and that's going to cause more shortages. So Powell is being a little too optimistic, in my opinion, right now, when he's saying that these shortages are going to be over soon. In my opinion, some of them are going to get worse, and we're going to see new ones pop up until our economy finds its new happy place where supply meets demand. I want to thank you guys for spending the time to listen to me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. It would really help me out with this channel. In the meantime, live small, dream big.